Hi everyone. So um, I'm gonna answer a question here, actually a couple questions. So this is like a Q&A video. So number one, um, I, I didn't write who it was from. It's out of respect for who asked the question to for me not to say their name. Um, I'm not sure if they want me to say the name or not, but I just kind of left it out. So for me answering these questions, you obviously know who you are. Um, so you said, hi, Miss Stacy. So hi. Um, so curious to have an update on your life in Arizona. What are you doing for a living? Are you still happy with the move? Did you find the life you expected? And then someone else also asked me, could you tell us what you do for a job? So there's kind of two questions there that are the same. So I guess um, this will be an update on a life update. I won't let it go on too long because this is a health channel. Um, but with my move and everything, it's part of health. So um, if you followed me long enough, um, you definitely know that I moved, I, I'm from Alaska and I've lived in Alaska my entire life up until I was, um, let's see, four years ago. So 30 years old, 30, 31 years old. So um, Alaska climate is all I know and it's still all I know. So I moved to a warmer climate for health reasons because I wanted sunshine and I wanted heat and I wanted the, the ability to grow fruit trees. To be able to be outside year round without having to bundle myself up like a penguin almost, you know, walking like a penguin everywhere and just really enduring a harsh, harsh climate. So I moved to Arizona. God led me here. Okay. Arizona was not the first place. I mentioned this in my moving videos um, when I first moved that Arizona was not my first state to move to. I was actually very scared to move here because of the high heat. That is the other side of the extreme other side of the spe uh, spectrum here. I went from extreme cold to extreme heat. So, um, so moving here was quite an adjustment. <laughs> it was much easy. It was very easy though. I can tell you that, um, as far as the body getting acclimated and everything, I think if one is going from a, a warm climate to a cold climate, that is difficult, I think. But if you're going from a cold climate to a warm climate or hot climate, that's much easier. So um, I congratulate you if you are one that has been born in a warm, hot climate and you decided to move to an extremely cold climate like Alaska. I congratulate you on that because that in my mind, in my opinion, in my heart, that is hard to do, I think. Um, so I am in Arizona and I've been here about four years now. Up to this year, it's 2023. So I've been here four years and I am loving it. Arizona is growing on me. Uh, it has taken me several years to acclimate though. I have had some major struggles since I have moved here with life in general and um, not only my health, but with life in general. As with all things, we all know if you're a believer, you know that God says, Jesus says that we are not exempt from the trials and tribulations of this life. So that definitely presented itself pretty strongly when I moved, but I knew God was calling me here and he was, he's been with me every step of the way and still is in this very moment. So I couldn't have moved without God. If I didn't have the faith build up to the point that I did, there was no way I would have moved. So I can't, I couldn't have done it without God. So, um, I am still here in Arizona. I do not plan to go back to a cold climate. I have had my fair share of a cold climate. I do not want any part of it anymore for the rest of my life. That is my plan, that is in my heart. I don't even wanna walk on snow, I just wanna see it on the mountaintops and it needs to stay on the mountaintops, but I don't wanna be in it. So Arizona, I am loving being able to be in tank tops and shorts and skirts throughout the entire year. Even when it is summertime here in Arizona, it's like our summers back home in Alaska. So I am always in shorts, always in a skirt. I like even like I was even at 40 below back home. So I mean, uh, here that I was doing that back home in Alaska, but I was facing some pretty, um, some pretty painful situations and wearing a skirt felt a lot better than wearing pants. So that's why I did that. And that goes into a whole nother story, but I am still wearing skirts and dresses every single day. And so now I'm just facing 
90, 100 plus degrees now, which is so much easier than 40, 50, 60 below and snow and ice everywhere for most of the year and darkness on top of it. So am I enjoying my life here? Yes, I am. Things are finally starting to balance out. My health, I will have to do a whole nother separate video on that because my health took a weird turn for a while. It did. And so the heat was part of it. And so I have learned things about the heat, but it's, I think dealing with the cold is a lot worse than dealing with the heat, but it brought out some, the heat brought out some underlying conditions that I didn't even know I had that have been dormant in my body. So I will have to mention that in a future video and that kind of what has postponed me from posting for a while since I've moved here because I had to get straightened out, I had to get my health back, <laughs> figure out what the heck is going on and make sure my life starts evening out, you know, so life happens. So we know we got to take time away from all the fun stuff or any other things that's going on in our life that's kind of postponing us from moving forward and or kind of halting it in some way and just focus on us, you know, focus on you. Um, that self-love, self-care. So that's what I did for quite a while. So um, yes, I'm loving Arizona. I love the palm trees. I love the heat. I love all the sunshine. I love the smell. I love the rainstorms, the thunderstorms here. It is absolutely amazing. It's spectacular. There is so much open space here. There's so much to do. This large city I'm not used to. I wish I was in a smaller city, but this place that I'm in right now is doable. I have learned how to get around here. I have learned a larger city, but I don't prefer a larger city. I can tell you that right now, <laughs> but I am okay with it. It's not a deal breaker for me to actually move back to Alaska or anything. Um, the heat and sunshine, palm trees, all of that means a heck of a lot more to me and heat and all that means a lot more to me. So what do I do for a job? I'm not going to reveal that on a public social media. Um, let's just say I have found my place. Uh, God finally brought about the place for me. Um, I have been trying to get to this place for ever since I moved here. And after three, four years, it finally happened. So I'm just, let's just say I'm, I'm finally very good, well off in my job now. I'm finally, I had to go through some pretty crappy jobs for a while. That's what happens when you move. You kind of have to start all over, but you have to keep working towards what you know in your heart, where you're supposed to be. And God will bring that to you. So the job situation is finally worked itself out. Thank you so much, God, for that. And um, the hard part is just waiting. If you are a believer, you know the hardest part about everything is waiting, is waiting for God to bring it along, to make it manifest in your life. And you have to wait for that right timing when the time is right. And it is hard waiting. I totally admit that. I say that throughout my walk with God and Jesus, I've noticed the hardest part is waiting. And it's good to wait though. You wanna wait on the right timing. Um, that is very important. It makes a big difference. So part of the other questions, am I still happy with my move? Yes, I am. I have done a lot here in Arizona. I've been to a lot of places now, a lot of exploring too. Um, I have seen a lot of historic places and I have feel like I'm in a completely different world. And I know in my heart, I still want to go somewhere tropical. Um, I still want to be somewhere where uh, where there's tropical fruits that grow, you know, and where the temperature is more stable throughout the year. I know at this point in my life, this is a heck of a lot better than a cold climate. And I am good with this. I'm actually happy with spending the rest of my life here in Arizona. I really feel that strong on my heart, but I also have a part in my heart where it's pretty strong, where I would really like to go to a tropical, uh, tropical place like I originally planned. Um, but of course those places didn't really pan out. So I know God, uh, directed me here. This is where I have to be right now. And I am good with it. I am really happy with it. Uh, like I said, Arizona is growing on me. I would like to make it my home. I really would. Um, excuse me, but I know there's, uh, part of my heart is calling for a tropical place where there, where I'm around tropical fruit plants, where I can grow tropical uh, fruit plants. But I know here in Arizona, you can certainly do that. It's just, you really have to learn a different way of gardening. 
Um, just like in a cold climate, you have to learn a different way of gardening to protect from the cold in the short season. Here, you gotta protect from the heat and the frying and um, keeping like a moist, stable environment for your tropical plants if you're gonna grow tropical plants. But you can grow a heck of a lot, heck of a lot more here in a warm climate than you can in a cold climate. It's doable in a cold climate, but it is very, very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. I've watched my mom, she's a master gardener. She, I, she's got the green thumb in the family. I don't have the green thumb, I know I don't. Uh, I can grow plants, but I know she's got the green thumb. She's grew fruits up there and everything. She's wonderful, but I've seen how difficult it is to grow in a cold, extremely cold climate far up north. So when you're in a warmer climate, it's much easier. So I have seen a lot of fruits here, trees just, on the side of the road, at nurseries and everything. I love it, I'm so excited to see fruits everywhere on trees, to pick it from a tree. It's wonderful, I really, really love it. I am enjoying fruits, fresh fruits from the trees, from friends and um, from other people who are giving away their fruit for free too. It's wonderful to do that, to be in a place like that. It's wonderful, it's really neat. So I'm getting a lot of extra nutrition that, you know, from the grocery stores, the fruit from the grocery stores are like, nothing, you know, compared to the stuff on the tree. So, and I got so much planned in my mind to grow my own garden and everything, my own fruit trees, which will be coming soon. I know that will be coming soon. I'm loving the sunsets here, sunsets, sunrises here, the stable daylight. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. I have such better quality sleep here and I have better, I just vibe at a better better frequency if that's a way to put it to put it here in a warm climate so um, I do know one thing I also do want to mention is that a lot of people it depends on where what stage in life you are at because there's a lot of people I've kind of encountered here where they just hate the heat they want to go somewhere cooler and they keep asking me why did you move from Alaska and everything it's so beautiful up there I'm like I know I moved from Alaska it is beautiful I miss it but I can't live up there it is not healthy to live up there um, it's definitely worth visiting, but living your life up there is a whole different story. And it's up to you on how you want to live too, how you want to live your life. So, um, but they, when they ask me, they tell me how much they hate the heat and everything, I start thinking, man, it just depends on the state that you're at in life. Like, are you ready to be in a cold climate and endure that for a while? Or is that where you want to make your home? Or you just want to be away from the warmth and the heat and sunshine? Or are you wanting to stay by the sunshine and heat and palm trees and everything? So you kind of have to look at where you're at because I've come encountered people who are from here, lived their whole, most of their life here. They're ready to go to a cold climate. Me, it's the opposite. I want to be where it's warm for the rest of my life. I'm tired of ice and snow and cold. No more for Miss Stace. So um, it's interesting when you think about that and you come across other people who just have endured other things in their life. And it's amazing how climate affects us each differently at different stages in our life too. So, okay guys, so I will stop there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you guys. Remember to take care of yourself the best that you can. And I will see you guys next video, okay? Bye guys.